pr- 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 yeah. premiere premiere yo who kid will tell you every time i see him i'm like yo i want to get on your show like i'm asking him like can i be <laughs> I'm, I'm like can i be on your show well man you know this, you know? this is your spot man. yeah well you know not only am i an employee here but i, I listen to <laughs> sirius all the time you know i've been listening to it for years yeah. even before they, they uh hired me here uh, shout to Reggie Hawkins and Geronimo for wow. bringing me through. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can catch us on Hip Hop Nation every Friday night from 10 p.m. to midnight. Ooh. It's called Live from Headquarters. And uh, shout to Panchi, shout, shout to, to Keebler, shout to King of Chill and Creepy Clown and Ron Mills, who we call Millie D. Millie D. Y'all know, y- you know how you, how you got the name? No, from from my assistant. Um, shout to Jim Crates. Um, he, used to call, he, he used to call him Ronald Mills Donald. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So we would always crack jokes, you know, Ronald Mills Donald, and then that, then I started saying Millie D. Millie, well, I used to say Mills Donald. What up, Mills Donald? And then that changed out to Millie D. And then I remember one day, it uh, it's amazing you brought up the kidnapping thing. You know, uh, <laughs> you know DJ Premier did the record that got me kidnapped, "Middle Finger You" by Sauce Oh Sports wow, Money. that's well, the record that got me kidnapped. <laughs> is that crazy? And I actually did not do that record. Oh, you didn't? Nah, nah. I, don't I, I, I did. I did Intruder Alert. Oh, okay. But what, but what it was is um. Yeah, well, you know, at, at, at the time when that record came out, uh, the the uh, pregame was really heavy with him and Jay Z. Oh, people and, assumed that you did. Yeah, it. but but um, and and even with just the style of the beat and everything, a lot of people thought that was me. But I, I did it um, on the first album. I, yeah, I did uh, Intruder Alert. Oh, okay. And I did uh, Against the Grain. That was the shit. Yeah, from the loud from the loud compilation. Yeah, yo, shout oh. to Sauce for motherfucking. Yo, man, that record got me in a van with Big Pun, with guns, and all kinds of shit. <laughs> you never got kidnapped before, right? Nah, I've never been kidnapped. For real? Nah. You never had beef with an artist? Like, they tie you up, and they're like, yo, mm-hmm. well, you didn't give us the beat, nah, motherfucker. Nah, nah. Right? I'm, 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 I'm knocking somebody the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not I'm not a tough guy, but I will defend myself. <laughs> yeah. I just came in, uh, well, I, 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 I blasted off the cypher, and everybody, you know, I guess that started the... The rumors that you're working with M because you DJed the actual cipher. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, um, shout out to Jesse Collins uh, from Co- well, it was Coset Productions. Recipes to John Coset, he passed oh, wow. away. Okay, but um, uh, he's had Je- Je- he's had Jesse do all of uh, you know the ciphers and you know the, the first time they had me do it, I actually had to go on tour, so I asked DJ Scratch to fill in. Oh wow! And he did the first one, and then all of a sudden, we, I thought it was just gonna be that one time. Then they said we're gonna do this every year. Then oh, as wow. years pass, everybody started calling me, going, "Yo, I want to be in the cipher." I'm like, "Look, I don't have nothing to do with it." <laughs> They'll call me and be like, "Yo, who do you do you like these people?" And uh, what about this one? And even when I'm like, "No, nah, don't put them in there," or you should put this person that they still override my call. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm like, "Fuck it." You know what? I'm gonna keep cutting. And, and there's been MCs that's like, "Yo, c- could you not sc- scratch when I'm rhyming?" I'm like, "Yo, that's the original way. Like, yeah, you fuck? should be able to flow." But it, when, it must have been easy for you because you had you know slow. I'm rolling my and- eyes like a motherfucker the whole day, and, and most of them and at the at the slow, slow down site for, with the whole shady uh, cipher was fun yeah because it was just us it was just just m uh royce crooked uh crook uh jo- joey and joey you what, know what? joey and joey <laughs> and um what's, what, what's consequence nearby no <laughs> no cons Yo. i see cons at the, at the barbershop we have the same same barber so oh, i didn't yeah. even know yes yeah, so i'm always seeing them in hall i know they, they, they say they take the pubes out his teeth oh but uh, well, let's keep it moving. It's cons, fool. <laughs> no, nah, but shout to cons, man. You know, yeah, we, we we always catch each other at the barbershop, you know, so big up to him, you know what I mean? Oh, my Lord. But, yo, y'all were like in some abandoned warehouse or some shit, man. Is yeah, that real? It was, was crack, that it was crack vials. And, what? And, and the crazy thing was they were like, yo, M is, M is coming, you know, get rid of all that stuff because, you, know, <laughs> they, they, you know, they don't want them to, the to be exposed around it. You know, old needles and stuff. Nah. I mean, I know he wasn't doing that, yeah. but just, just the, the sight of, of anything you know drug related they were like get all the stuff out of here and you know but M, and the thing is M was a lot of fun just bugging out with everybody you know mm. what I'm saying it, because not only that it was just around us Yellow Wolf we were all just acting stupid and the thing is the way you saw the cypher yeah. that's how natural it was with them acting stupid and shit 15 years, man, uh, you know, the gang star, man. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the, the anniversary was, was recent, right? Yeah, for, March, the, for, well, for the Moment of Truth album, which came out in 98. March 31st, um, right? Yeah, man, you know Damn. what I'm saying? And, and actually, yeah, my my birthday was March 21st, so, you know, shout out wow. to all the Aries out there. Ooh. Damn. You know, and um, you know, recipes to guru, man. You know it, it, that 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 was our most serious album because we were going through. We 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 have fought f- from day one. Damn. And the thing is, it's so ill. That's why when people spread certain rumors about him or us, I'm like, yo, you dumb motherfuckers. 
don't know if you you don't really know us if you don't know about like Reef knows. Reef mm. knows all the all the beefs <laughs> and fights we've had, and through all of that, every album came out dope and and consistent, and every album outsold the next album. Wow. So if we were really that fucked up with each other, how could we make dope records together? Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. Chose like I guess you had the love for hip hop more. It was bigger. Yeah. It was bigger than you yeah. and him arguing. Plus, plus we lived the rock and roll lifestyle for real. Yeah. We we were sex, drugs, and rock and roll for real. And Get the when, fuck out when, of you, when you live that lifestyle. Yeah. Fights and everything else comes in there, but the music always comes out strong as a motherfucker. But you were in an era in New York when there was limelight. The tunnel yeah, came in eighty seven, man. The drugs so. was crazy, right? Yeah, I man. saw a girl like sniff coke off of a spoon. Like, yeah, I mean, they that, were doing it like that. Yeah, but I, the era man. of the seventies and eighties, coke was called a boutique drug for real. Like, like it, it, it was like not being able to buy a drink for a girl now in the club. It's like you ain't got no coke, you know. So it, that was normal, even though it, it's frowned upon mm. in different generations. And that later, um, it, that that was like a normal thing, just like just like buying a drink. You know, it, it wasn't frowned upon, just like crack was too until it got out of hand. You know, when you roll them in the blunts and call and woolers and stuff it wasn't really considered bad then everybody started hitting the stem straight and leaving the weed out Damn. and smoking the rock Are you then it, and then plus it once it crossed into the white community what? then they called it an epidemic and then they called it crack Damn it! You being in the industry so many years, like, yeah. how many how many artists have you seen got caught up with crack and coke and they just like fell off? Um, have you count? Have you counted? Man, there's 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 a lot. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot before I, I even got on. I'm like, yo, that motherfucker's cracked out, <laughs> and I just bought his twelve inch at the store. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or, That's crazy though. Like, yeah, you know, when he, the mic's off, I'll be I'll, I'll give you a list. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, you know what? That's actually why me and KRS One when we did the Return of the Boom Battle, that's why we did the song Out of Here. If you hear oh, the original version, oh shit! I got the original version. He named everybody that was out of here. What? That and and, off. and, and, uh, and uh, Willie D, his you know his man Willie D from the Bronx was like, "Yo, Chris, you can't no, uh, Chris, please. The, 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 we gonna have beef with so many people. So many people gonna hate us." And Chris was like, "I don't give a fuck." And he was like, "Come on, man." He convinced him to change it. That's when we changed it with material things. Range Rover out of here. You know, oh. uh, love seat out of here, but the original had the name. He's God. naming. Ooh, a I gotta lot come to the studio to hit it. Groups. Shit, Yo, can Word. we go to the studio and hear the fucking <laughs> Come names? on by. Yeah, I'll play you the private <laughs> version. Word. You, you you would bug out. Like you'd be like and and Karis did said it with like authority, like, like, yeah, you're out of here. You so, know. Was, he, had, he had the first kind of like 50 years kind of record like oh, going no at all the artists no that's question. why KRS one respects 50 every time when they see each other they talk for like hours. oh yeah they got to I mean even with him dissing the whole borough he didn't just just, just a bridge <laughs> he just a whole borough and you still still had to like the record you know 50, 50 even said that on his first uh, document you know his yeah. first DVD on, on the Get Rich or Die Trying he said yo I mean on the beef on the beef uh, DVD KRS one is like the reason why he even was in his basement writing crazy yeah you know so it, it's it's like it, it, it was just ill, man. Like you know, and Chris and Chris was crew. Crew was thorough. You know, you had Skylar Rock and mm. just a whole BDP and crazy. Yeah, ass people ICU. didn't people didn't know that that uh, you know BDP and what that meant in in the Bronx and and like the the kind of the, the kind of guys that were down with them and right. violators, the original yeah. violators. Yeah, you know, yeah. R.I.P. Chris would, Lady. Yeah, yeah. R.I.P. R. Chris. Like you would get. You, you would get stomped the fuck out. Yeah, Chris mm. came to my house with LL, man, when I had an apartment in, in College Point. I remember yeah. that, that I was place. Like, I was like, Chris Light. Well, Chris Lighty was more regular to us because he was baby Chris to me from way back, you know what I'm saying, when we all was coming into the game. Mm. But but for LL to come to my crib, and he goes, yo, s -s smoke some of that good shit you be smoking and just, <laughs> just like one of them beats up, you know what I'm saying? You know, make it real nice. Yeah, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's up, baby? <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, B. <laughs> Well, shout to LL, man. I mean, would you ever think about it? You're, you're with LL, and you're you who you are. You see LL hosting like award shows. Yeah, and man. He looks and, like and, a model and, and shit. And, and, but he's he's good at <laughs> but he's good at it, and he understands how to still. He's still he's still in MC mode. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because again, I'm an MC, even though I don't rap, but I know how to control the crowd. I know how to talk to people mm. on the mic and, and and let people know what time it is. And he's really good at it. You know, so I, I got to gotta give it up. And and he's still we're, we're, he's we're, still nice with yeah, it. He's too. still nice with it. And if you try to diss him. He will still have a verse ready, you know. So shout, if you shout, try to rob to his house, if you try to rob his house, yeah, he will he's going karate out. chop. Yeah, <laughs> got the karate chop. How does it feel to have like a million producers on your dick? Like they they got to look at your <laughs> fucking blueprint to even start what they want to do. It feels good to me because of the fact that when we were coming into the game, you know, um, I was 19 years old. I'm 47 now. Yeah, and and um. 
all we wanted, we wanted the money too, but we just wanted all the people we looked up to to say that we were dope. Mm. And at that time, a lot of the artists would be in the same clubs. You see Tribe, you see, you, you Rakim would make a very, it, Rakim was like a sighting, like like a UFO, like, yo, I, I saw Rakim. No, you lying. You didn't see no Rakim. It's like, yeah, I saw him go across the street. And, it, it, I'm, I'm t- you know, and he's like, no, you didn't. But we saw him one day at the powerhouse. Remember when, when the powerhouse was yes, open? Yes, I do. And uh, we went over there. And Rakim was there at the bar with them, but the whole paid and full posse, they were surrounded. Wow. Like wherever he moved, the whole crew moved. And he looked and saw us and goes, Gangstar, my niggas. And we almost fainted like bitches. <laughs> I felt like a I felt like a fucking straight bitch. Like, yo, Rakim <laughs> just said gangstar, you know, cause that's Damn. Rakim, yo. Mm. Like well, speaking of clue, he was the king of leaking music. What's this leak I saw the Can't Cheat Death a while ago, the Jay Z joint? There's been a lot of leaks uh, from your camp boy. You don't even know what that is. Nah, but um, you know <laughs> nah. For real, like what, what, what? Nah, I mean you know what I mean, in this day and age, leaks are a plus and a minus, but the main thing is to you know, everybody wants to have it first, which shows that yeah. hip hop is still that powerful out of any genre of music that everybody wants to get it first still. Mm. So that, that lets you know hip hop is real powerful shit. Word. And then how, how does it uh, also feel like, you know, you you beat Dr. Dre in the Rolling Stone joint. I know, that, make- that, that bugged me. No, but actually, well, he beat me in the Vibe one. And, and, and you beat and, him in Rolling Stone. And, and then I read the vibe, uh, the one where he and Eminem were on the cover in the doctor suits. Yeah. And when I read it, I didn't know I was in, in I didn't know I was brought up on the topic. And when I read it, you know, mm. I, I, I like to shit and t- take a shit and read. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> I'm doing my morning shit and, I, and I'm on page, whatever, the yeah. second page, yeah, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and and Dre, you know, Dre, Dre and I go way back and he bigged me up lovely and was like, yo, Primo is, is, is you know, is, we go way back. And, 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 you know, like he came to our first gang star party in 1989 damn it was a it was a like big hunt club you know what i'm saying of which i, I actually have a photo you gave of me the pictures oh, you photo- yeah, yeah. He, yeah reef gave me the pictures with me and easy yep. r.i.p to easy oh. ren was there yep you know what i'm saying it was all yeah, but but it, this is this is this is just to show to give you an idea of the era like it's easy with the raiders cap no, but the comp, it's, no, it's no, open, he had to come to swap me that but yeah. it's open extra big because he had the the big Jerry got it right Curl here. I got it from. right here. Oh, you put yeah. it in your, in yeah. your phone? What? This shit is so gangster, yo. I need that for my Instagram. You got the photo? Actually? Yeah, I got it. I'll, put, I'll send Get it to you. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, you know, it's it's funny I brought that up too because he's damn near worked with everyone. Tupac, you never worked with Tupac before? Nah, <clears throat> I never worked with Pac, but we were we were old friends because he was the tour manager for Digital Underground yeah. before he was rhyming. And when we went to the New Music Seminar in, in, out in, I mean, the Jack the Rap out in the West Coast when Humpty Dance popped off, mm. the day I got there, we 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 met Pac and we met um uh, Money B and Fuse and and uh, Shock G. And they were like, "Yo, we are having a party tonight." And they were they were already rocking, so we went to Money B and Fuse's oh, crib, shit, and man. it was a wild, Get wild, wild party. What? And Pac was came to me and said, "Yo, man, I'm about to start rapping and doing my own shit. It's gonna be some real rebel, militant, what? power to the people shit." And he, he he said, "So don't go by the rhyme I did on same song." I was like, "All right." And then boom, he just blew up. And then I saw Trapped. So we've been hanging with Pac, me, Guru, mm. and Pac. Like we've hung, hung. We've been to South Carolina where, where Pac did. They didn't have his money. <laughs> we went open an act, so we had already got paid and did our show. And Pac's like, "Yo." <laughs> They don't have my motherfucking money. When I slam this mic on the ground, tear this club the fuck up. And, and you can see Get him at And here. he said it like that. He went like, yo, they don't have my money, man, so I can't perform. He said it just like that. And he said, boom, boom. and the mic slammed. And everybody just started throwing shit everywhere. And it was what? like, and the promoter's like, please stop them. He goes, fuck you. And then we went to an after party in that neighborhood where you would think we're in danger because we're in that town and he's shitting on the promoter who's from that town. Yeah. Can, we don't know what type of power he got. All love. And we in there and uh Pac just was a chick magnet, man. Like girls just popping up everywhere. And he's like, Damn. yo, Prem, take three. You know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> and, we, and, we, and, we drank, and we drank Jack Daniels all night. And he gave, and, and I still have the second album. He gave me the, uh, uh, Topac- wait, Topocalypse Now was the first one, right? Yeah. yeah. Stri- he gave me the Strictly for My Niggas t shirt. And, uh, you know, and I still have it. It's fresh and I'll never wear it, you know. You must have a lot of shit at your house that's oh, fucking yeah. memorabilia. Like, yeah, we, Ill would, shit. we were just talking about that, about Damn. doing like maybe a cleaning out my closet. 
closet what? contest where there's certain things I can give away and will charge like a price and no you know, auction it off for charity. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like an, an auction it off, something like that. But it'll be called clean out my closet. We'll take the M and M, you know, clean out my closet. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, dum, dum, that'll be the thing. Paul, 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 Paul. Get that clearance. <laughs> What's up? Well, producer, right. producer, dudes, you respect. We got Dr. Dre, Kanye West, and Timberland, the top three on the Twitters that, that hit us up because you up here. Right. Uh, who who mostly, like, oh, you respect all three, of course. Oh, but no question. Yay. I've seen Ye come up as a youngster, you know what I'm saying, before. He actually called you for to, to, to get on one of his joints, right? Yeah, well, I, I did scratches on graduation on the yeah. song All That I Am, and I actually just hit Don C yesterday and said, y'all never got my plaque, and he just hit me back yesterday and said, y'all, I'm on top it. of it. What? Yeah. Yeah, l- ludicrous, too. I said, yo, Luda, I need my, my plaque for Theater of the Mind, you know, and um, Shaka <laughs> hit me back and said, we're on it. So, you know, shout to them for even responding back. I know that everybody's busy. You know, because I, I still represent the grimy <clears throat> part of hip-hop, so I'm always checking to see if the platinum motherfuckers will holler back at me when, I, mean, I, when I need to holler, you know. Do you examine how... I guess production has elevated from like years ago because even yeah. lyrics have, have elevated, but yeah. now you got the production styles. But you are on your own. Like, you're, you're like the fucking, I guess, the the base of everything. <clears throat> My yeah. main thing is, I'm like, I think every region should have a, have a, it does have a sound. Just like Motown had a certain sound and yeah. you knew it was Motown. I feel like New York has fallen off with sounding like the city. Like, mm. the, like, that you know, I want that you know when you when when I was coming up here, every record you was like, oh, they from New York. You know, it sounded like, and now the songs that that come out from New York artists sound like the artists from the South who they used to diss. You know, what I'm saying <laughs> like, I'm like, wait, you dissed the South, and, and now, now you sound run. like the South. <laughs> like, well, make up your fucking mind. Those are hypocrite, hippo rappers, <laughs> <laughs> hypocrite rappers. But call them crit, crit, critter rappers. Not no diss to crit. Crit's my homie, but yeah, they're critter rappers. You it's know? funny, even you now you bringing up the youngsters. They they all respect you guys and they beg like even Mac Miller he was so right. fucking amped when he was up here when yeah, shout to Mac Miller y'all did like two tracks together then he tells me you know he tried to imitate your voice and then he just, <laughs> y'all was on the fucking floor oh but yeah it's with, amazing. The, with the raspy voice but it's amazing like I see how the young kids like you know you see Wiz chasing too short or right. you know like he, he got like you know like uh, Juicy J back up again like, yeah that's dope but I mean I think that's kind of ill how the young the, the new generation respects like yeah, the groundbreakers. It's that important, man. We, we should be getting along together. I just never thought. I guess because we ran it for so many years. I mean, mm. like we ran a few decades of being on top of the game, and uh, it's just crazy that that I never thought it'd be a generation gap with rap rap motherfuckers and 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 us. You know, yeah, when, when they're like, oh yo, and all, and they can only say one thing: you're old. <laughs> like, come on, come on to something new. You're because like, our era, our era, we weren't like. Getting like Run DMC to do shit over, like we, right. just, we just was like, yo, we need to get on it. Let's get the fuck. Let's keep it moving. Exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and like, we should all get along and, and build together because we can teach y'all teach them a lot of things. Because if they don't learn the stuff that we do know about yeah. the culture, they're gonna be gone, and we're still gonna be old <laughs> and banging out and doing concert tours. And they're gonna be like, damn, I remember when I was like the shit in, in, in <laughs> when I was 22, and it's like now you're not the shit when you're 24. You know what I'm saying? It t- you had a two year run working with Jay. I mean, how many times <clears throat> you guys been in the studio together? Is it like um, a high a high percentage of y'all in the studio? Or he sends you the track. No, nah, it was always in, in together. Like even um, we we worked. Uh, I was on uh, I was on Reasonable Doubt, yeah. which we were together a lot because they did a lot of a lot of it in, at D and D. Oh wow, they had, they had other studios too. That's right, but um, they they did the bulk of it there. So we were always seeing each other every day. I remember. The day um, <clears throat> that Biggie came to do Brooklyn's Finest, and we're oh. all just hanging out. Get the fuck <clears throat> I, out of I remember here. Too Short was there when, when they were recording a week ago in one room, and I'm doing a million and one Damn. and Rhyme No More in my room, and Jay's just going back and forth, knocking it down. Wow. <clears throat> and then we hadn't dealt with each other for a f- couple albums, and then when, when I did So Ghetto, he came by himself. And that's another thing, too. Jay always just roll, roll for Delph, you know, and just pop in. And lay it, you know, lay it down and get cracking. You I, know? I remember I used to see him sleeping over uh, Stretch, <clears throat> Stretch Armstrong's house. He used to like, wow. like sleep on the floor of Stretch Armstrong. Yeah, Big L used to take him around to, you know, for uh, what a lot of people don't know about that history is Big L was just like, yo, Jay Z's gonna be the next dude. Like he was, he was really, you wow. know, he, he taking Jay Z everywhere. You know, I know Jay can attest to that. You know, that like L really. Love Jay Z because we were around L because of DITC. You yeah, know, yeah, shout to Showbiz, OC, Diamond D, uh, Buck Wild, Law Finesse, Fat wow. Joe. Damn. Uh, um, I'm, I'm leaving anybody out. Um, I said AG. 
<laughs> Hold on. Showbiz AG, Big L, Law Finesse. Nice and Smooth. Uh, was, night, no, what, nice said, and Smooth was that? No, no, not no, DLTC. Right. Uh, oh. Buck Wild, uh, Diamond D. Damn. Um, shit. shit. I think I got everybody. Shit, man. Yeah, I think I got everybody. God damn it, man. Word. But the, but Jay is definitely like you know people just be like bugged out when they work with him man. He's you know? easy to work with at least with, with me he was. Every song that we did except for So Ghetto he told me what he already wanted and would and he would always rhyme on the phone. Wow. And, and tell me and he even told me what scratches to do like on D Evils yo I want you to scratch this and this and this and you know I was like all right because like a lot of people wonder where I get the scratch hooks I'm like mm. either I come up with it or Guru the same way Guru would be like yo scratch this on that song all right cool and and if it sounded flawed I'd scratch it in there. I used to uh, steal lyrics from like all the artists. I got Snoop, like PIMP. I got Nas's right. Ether. I got mm. like mad lyrics at my house, but you never like took. <laughs> you know when they leave the shit on the fucking yeah the rap whatever that the the, 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 the cutting room floor. Yeah. <laughs> I used yeah. to just like psh, and then Nas came back. And I was like, yo, everybody see? Me? I was like, yo. Yo, oh, oh yeah, oh I stole, yeah. Oh, back then, man, going yeah. to record labels to pick up promos. Right. You go in somebody's office and you'll see such and such cassette, and it's like. Oh I, yeah, I was yeah. definitely I was definitely a sticky fingers and before Onyx, you know. So what I'm now it's like I got Ether, <laughs> man. And the thing is, I stole uh, two parts of it because he the third part that I left because right. I had to leave one of it there. <clears throat> yeah, he used it on the inside of the album cover. Wow. So the, the lyrics that that I didn't steal, I got like I guess, I guess the first two verses. Yeah. And then he did like a third verse, or he had some extra writings. Right. But he put that on the inside That's of. That's dope. So, yeah, Ether was a great record, man. A lot of people like, oh, the beat wasn't all that. I'm like, yo, he had to have a track that wasn't overshadowing what. He had yeah. to say, I mean, Jay got at him, man. Like, takeover was a beatdown. Yeah, man. But I know you. They were. I know you. You've been asked that question a billion times. Like, yeah, you know, the, you know I, 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 I. The reason why I, I thought Ether was better, it, it wasn't better than Takeover as an overall record. Mm. I, I thought that Ether was great for Nas to finally get up off the ground yeah. and and throw a punch. He was very depressed. That was a depressed period. Yeah, yeah. He, he was down because and out. I was in the clubs, man, and everybody's going user, uh, and the, and they dre- drop the fader, and everybody goes. Lay. <laughs> I was like, yo, is Nas over? Uh. Like, you know, I, it's, it was like, yo, what the fuck? Because. I, I Nas my is like, like like my man, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like and Jay's my dude. So I knew it was competitive, you know, it's, it's com- competition in hip hop and battling, but but Jay is it, 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 just confident when he comes mm. when he attacks people. And I was at that summer jam when he bought Michael and when he got at Prodigy and, oh, and, and everything. So so that just made me go, yo, Nas, like get up, <laughs> get up. And he did. He got up, yo. And and Ether yeah. was was a great. And now they're back. friends, and then he signed under Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 hip hop is like the funniest shit ever. Oh, there's no question. <laughs> <laughs> no rappers are the funniest motherfucker. 